Hello again, I'm Plus Ryan 7 here. As you can see, we're back right inside Silco. I'm going to begin the journey of exploring Silco, which is massive 11 story building, which is crazy, crazy, but whatever. Hey kid, what are you wandering out around here for? I came to explore. I'm an architect and I need to learn the design of this building and what I'm. Why do you have five gold bats? Just, just why? Do you want me to hate you? I don't want people to have more than like two Pokemon in here. Like, this makes it irritating. I could technically open up my Let's Play of Fire Red and go look at this building and figure out what every trainer has. That's what I did the first time through, is since I I wanted I was doing it playing I wanted to play through and get like it recorded without having to be like fifty parts, because that was when I had a ten minute time limit. Now I can go however long I want to, but I tend to keep it between like between fifteen and twenty is my average time. But like with a ten minute time limit, this place would have taken me a good six, seven parts on its own. So I did a weird, like, text version of this place and explained what every trainer had, and I, I wrote it all down and whatnot, so that was an interesting way to do this place, but I, that's completely unnecessary. So now I can actually record it and show myself going through this place and hitting- Why? There's so many Zubats! Do you have no nothing better to do with your life than to go and get Zubats? I could have tr healed up between parts, but I was like, nah man, I'm good. I'm a Blastoise, I don't care. I'll just punch everything in the face anyway. There's actually also somewhere you can heal in here. I feel like it's the 8th floor, but considering that I was wrong with where the key was to begin with, I could be way off. It'll probably be like the 2nd floor. Actually, it's the 3rd- no, it's not the 3rd floor. What floor is it? I don't know, we'll find out eventually. Because I'll need it sooner or later. Mostly for PvP, not for health, because I have potions that can heal to with my health. Technically, I have things I can use for destroying PvP, but whatever. And, up, uh, hi scientist, how are you? Softlim is here, go home. But I'm exploring, I'm a learning architect. I thought I told the first guy. So that's what he should have told you, considering how fast news spreads around here. Hi Jerry, where's Tom at? Is he hiding somewhere? Is he chasing you? Are you running away from Tom? If you don't get what I'm talking about, I feel sorry for you. Because you, you should know Tom and Jerry. You just should. It's just hilarious, and it's the best. Almost level 55, hi Voltorb. How are you today? I'm going to take this water pulse and apply it directly to the forehead. Because you need a bit of bit, a bit of help. Because you're a, a stress ball that's going to explode on me. And I don't want that. Now that you are not doing of the exploding, I will go ahead and fight this magneton. Which is also need, needs a, a water pulse applied directly to the middle head. That one right there, yep. And goodbye magneton, you were easy enough. I'm with that would almost be a threat, but not to me. You're good, I am good, thanks. Look all this money I have. Okay, what have we got back here? We have a warp panel, which takes us up to the 8th floor, which I don't need to be here right now, it's nothing significant. So I'm gonna take it back down to the 2nd floor. Okay. One panel done, yay. No kids allowed in here. Uh, excuse me, I am 18, thank you very much. You're probably not much older than I am. Technically in the game I'm 10, but whatever. Cubone, hi Cubone, how are you today? Cubone, say hello to Water Pulse. I'm sorry, it just had to happen. They're so cute and awesome, but I still I still need to just shoot you in the face. Cause that's what I do to poor Cubones. L55, yay! Skull Bash! Um what's the Skull Bash again? Raises defense on the first turn, then attacks. That's not bad. I'm just gonna get rid of my AK, because I never use it anyway. So, 100 power, 100 hits, so it's gonna hit. You have to, like, take a turn, and you raise your defense on that turn, which is not bad. Let's go ahead and learn that. That could, like, be used if you, like, do that at the start of a battle or something. Since I'm doing a solo run anyway, that's actually almost a good move to have for me, so. Why not? Let's go ahead and learn it. Hi, Zubat. Bye, Zubat. Why are you here? I don't get it. Too many Zubats. Way too many Zubats. Tough. I am tough. Sucks to be you. Okay, nothing else there. Doors. What are we doing? What do we do with the doors? Oh yeah, I have a card key. This is why you want to get the card key first, because then like the door. Seriously, you can check where the door was. It says it's open. Good job. Help! I'm a self-employed. The why are you fighting me? If you're actually a self-employed, you should not be trying to fight me. You should just be sitting here. Why do you have? Four Pokemon! Why? So point in this. Okay. Let's show off Skull Bash, which I just got. It's the one turn. Raise your defense. Lower his head. Defense Rose, yay! Oh no, Sludge! Harga Blarga! 
Skull Bash, my gosh, that sounds painful. Very much so. Cool. I will take it. Some pretty cool move, that's nice damage. I'm good, high wheezing. Oh, wait a minute, let's use a waterfall on wheezing. Because why not? Man, bye wheezing. Oh no, it was so scary and terrifying. Got it! I, I meant to hit B, but I hit A. If I hit A, I mean I was spamming both buttons at the same time. But I tend to do that a lot when I'm just skipping through text and whatnot. I gotta roll my finger between both buttons, so I just hit both of them constantly. But whatever. A wheezing, nope, nope, no need to change. Hi wheezing! Skull Bash! Now my defense has been raised twice! Ooh, scary. That's a good way to get tough on this defense. Oh, don't you smoke screen me. Don't you do it. You jerk. Yeah, yeah, I hit still. That's all that mattered. Just, as long as I don't miss, I don't care. Yeah, I hit. Okay, problem solved. Fire sign is Connor. How do you know I was right? Because you attacked me. That's how I knew you were rocket. My gosh. So obvious. Teleport pad. Oh my god, sixth floor. Random teleport outside. Not important at all. If there's a significant pad, I'll let you guys know. Karki, open the door. There's an open door. Good for... Yay. Who are you? Eek, no, stop, help. Oh, you're not with Team Rocket. I'm sorry. I thought, please forgive me if I teach you Thunder Wave. You always learn Thunder Wave, so if you need Thunder Wave, you can teach you Thunder Wave. Can anyone learn Thunder Wave? Sure. Who wants to learn Thunder Wave? Clefairy, go. Why not? Yes. Clefairy, you can have Thunder Wave. I decided you can have Thunder Wave. Uh, you don't need Encore. Now you can, like, paralyze things, and you can put them to sleep, and... I'm not actually using Clefairy, I just happen to have it with me, because I've been too lazy to put it back. So yeah, because sleep and paralysis tend to be useful moves to have. So, teleport pad, takes you to the third floor. Okay, not important. The only important thing in this room was that girl, because she teaches you the uh, Thunder Wave, that's it. I, I literally just learned it, and I already forgot. I'm so good at this. Not the random pad at the beginning, eighth floor, not, a, not significant at all. Okay. Some of these pads are just there, and they're irritating, because they don't do anything. Third floor, we just came through this one. This is back down to the second floor. Yep, knew it. Okay. Now what? Anything else I had to do? Anything over this way? Uh, random pad. Not important. Fifth floor. Okay, open area. And run all the way back. And down this way. Hello. Come back with us, kid, but I'm having fun! I'm a Pokemon trainer. I'm going on an adventure. And you should be nice to me, because I'm going to beat you guys up anyway, whether you want me to or not. Hi, Eradicate. How were you? Skull Bash. I'm going to make myself even take even more damage, because I already have such high defenses. I totally need more. I'm scared. I'm so very scared. Whatever. What do I do? My, my speed. My speed harshly fell. Aga Blaga. Oh, wait. I'm still out him. I don't actually care, because I am awesome. And level 55, which helps a lot, too. Help no! Oh no, what do I do? I'm gonna go ahead and use Bite, because it's super effective. And hope it one-shots him. If not, I'm gonna be kind of upset. Yay, I one-shot him. I don't have to be kind of upset. Tell what we got next. Eradicate! I already fought one of those, buddy. I beat up the first one, so I can beat up the second one just fine, too. Aw, oh, unless I miss it. I think a Mega Punch and a slow. Hi, Hyper Frank. How are you today? That did like 8 damage. That did 5. Okay. Yeah, did you realize that I bit my speed lowered? I didn't. Okay, so that was that everything. Except for Quick Attack, because Quick Attack has priority. Do the priority moves. Whatever, okay. Beat him up. Hi, you're just gonna look away from me. Oh, for Slifka, what am I to do? Uh, shit here, apparently. Do nothing. Third. What? Okay, so that pad right here brings you right over to here. That's a very useful pad. Not even slightly. This goes to, I think, the second floor. We already on this one, right? Now, fifth floor. Item. TMO1, focus punch. Okay. Sweet, got an item. That If you don't have the card key yet, that you would need that warp. But you kind of need the card key, because to continue the story, you got to go through here. Not, not here. Actually here. There's your rival. So this is the most important pad in the game. If you want to, go to the 5th floor, get the card key, come to the 3rd floor, open that door, go through that pad, ta-da, you can go through, and win the game. I don't want to do that yet, because I'm having fun. Hyper Potion! And I'm getting way overtrained. Totally necessary, right? Hi, scientist! Ah, gosh dang it. 
I had to go talk to him. I just had to, and then he wanted to fight me because he's a big meanie butt. Scientist was there. An electrode. I will kill you with the electrode. Uh, hi, he's smiling at me. Why is the upside down Pokeball smiling at me? I feel like I should be scared. But I'm not, because I have a Blastoise. Yay. Okay. Got a Weezing. Hi, Weezing. Uh, Water Pulse. Bye, Weezing. It's nice knowing you. Alright, that was a 74 experience, not bad. Almost level 56 already. You really got me! Yeah, this is like a great place to train if you need to like level stuff up. So, yeah. And where does warp take me? Ninth floor, uh, useless. Okay. Good to know. I'm pretty certain that's useless teleport. Because that was an area I could walk to generally. Okay, that's third floor taken care of. Easy enough. Fourth floor, let's go. See that this place is sneaking huge and it's ridiculous. Item! TM41 Torment, sweet, I don't need that. Hello. Intruder spotted, good job. I even though I ran right by you a second ago and you happened to not see me, and then turned around too late. Akins! Akins! Hi Akins, I'm gonna punch you in the face area. Yep, right, right, smack dam in the middle of your face area, and you will be no more. See, no more Akins. Problem solved. One punch at a time. Okay. Hi, Zubat. Bye, Zubat. I punched your wing and your ear. Which, I mean, I don't see why you need his ears, but whatever. I'll punch him in the ears. Cubone! I have one of those. I caught one earlier. Nope, not bag. Why did I even go to the bag? To fight and then go to water pulse. There we go. Much better. Okay, bye, Cubone. Nice knowing you. That makes things easy. Alright. Ah, oh, so close. So very close to 56. Not that it matters at this point. I'm just too strong as is. Okay. What else have we got here? Go down this way, and this way, and... Hi, buddy. I'm gonna talk to you. Take control of Silco. You took control of Silco. That's just mean of you guys. But why do they need to take control of Silco? What's so important about this place? I don't know. If there wouldn't be a Master Ball or anything in here, that'd be crazy talk. No such thing exists. Uh, water bowls. Because bite is not very effective. So it does be wasting PP. Okay, bye, my chap. The question is, where is the healing person? Because I just want to make sure I don't run out of moves, which I will eventually. No attack. So much defense, especially. Yeah, Plus, which is a tank, and it's pretty awesome. Hi, Drowsy. How are you? You're doing good? Okay, bite. How you feeling now, buddy? Not very good at it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Yes, I did. Who am I kidding? I'm the evil villain. Ha ha ha. Yay. Okay. What do we got next? Let's go up this way. Oh, car key open the door. Yay for me. Scientist dude. Pokemon's a loyal servant. Is he though? Is he really your loyal servant? Scientist Rodney. Electrode. Oh no. It's a terrifying ball with a smile. Hi, creepy Pokeball, or inverted Pokeball, as I said earlier. Or upside down Pokeball. I'd say inver inverted would be weird. Like, that'd be the inside of the out, and the outside's in the in. That's just upside down. Okay, let's be the scientist Rodney. Darn you weak Pokemon! That's not very nice. You're Pokemon. I thought you loved him. You're wrong. Okay, let's try this put teleporter. Tenth floor. Not significant in the least bit. Okay. Next teleporter. This one. Uh, tenth floor, also not significant. You can get to here later. I talk to her. Ah, I'm scared. Okay. Nurse, so helpful. And this one up here. What is this one? We have sixth floor, not important at all. Okay. All useless teleports. Literally, like, the only one that matters we've already gone through is on the third floor. So, yeah. Card key open the door. Yay. Look at all these items. Max revive. And an escape rope. And a, a full heal. Yay. Oh, there's some loser hiding back here. Shh, what are we hiding from? Oh, sorry. I'll leave. Yeah, but literally, I suggest going through this place so you don't get lost and confused. You just want to go through and take it a floor at a time. Like, don't follow teleporters for a while. Just, like, go through them and instantly come back. Otherwise, you're going to get very confused and very lost. Fifth floor, die. Okay. I'm going to fight you anyway, because I'm here. 
Child intruder, that must be you. Yep, that is me. Good job. You're, you're, you have a brain. You can use your brainial area. Your brainial area functions. Hey, Sandro. Whatever will I do about a Sandro? I don't know. Maybe it was water bullshit. Harga blarga blarga. Bye, Sandro. It's nice knowing you. Kind of, I guess. Up, 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 up. And a sand slash, that's even more terrifying than a sand shrook, because it's an evolved form. Oh wait, I still have a water pulse. Harga blarga blarga blarga. And sand slash is gone now. Man, I was so worried about that sand slash, like, ripping my face to pieces, because he has terrifying claws. And then I one-shot him. Fine, I lost. You did lose, because you're bad. Yep. Okay, back to the teleporter. Found this guy already, which we did last part. Um, hello. What?! There should have been any children here. Who are you? You don't look like a Team Rocket guy or a scientist. You're a magician. Oh, juggler. Sorry, juggler, Dalton. A cadabra. Abra cadabra alakazam! Hi, cadabra. How are you? I'm gonna bite your face. And now you are no more. You're not a juggler. You're using telekinetic powers to levitate the balls in circles. Clearly, you're cheating. And a Mr. Mime. And a Mr. Mime. You're definitely cheating. Hi, Mr. Mime. I'm gonna bite your face. And you have been the bitten. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mime. I'm sorry for having to bite your face. But it's just how it has to go. Sometimes it's gonna bite their face. Okay, what's over this way? Door. Car key, open the door. Woohoo, I'm so good at this game. Mr. Mime is in an uproar over some shooter. That's you, right? Yep, that's me. I'm pretty flippin' awesome. Okay, so we got a teleporter right here. Which takes us to the third floor. Okay, not important. Scientist, fight me. We like Pokeball technology on this floor. Do you? Why are we playing Pokeball technology? Like, we already have Pokeballs that work just fine. We have Pokeballs, we have Great Balls that I don't use, we have Ultra Balls that I don't use, we have other Pokeballs that I don't use, I just use Pokeballs. And what more do you need than a basic Pokeball? Like, you can catch anything in a Pokeball, you just gotta be persistent and not... Yeah, it's persistent. Very, very persistent. And have, um... A high level of tolerance of stupidity and yelling at games and I'm not yes no and be able to yell at the game a lot and not get super mad only kind of mad and then keep playing and attempt eight times to catch the Moltres eight resets to catch a Moltres in a Pokeball that was not a fun day I, I was a good that was a good hour spent trying to catch one Moltres oh boy this came sometimes why did I catch everything in Pokeballs because I'm dumb. Like, there's no logical reason to catch everything in a Pokeball, aside from self-gratification. Like, I just feel good that I caught everything in a Pokeball. There's no other reason for me to do it, including every single Legendary. Yeah, I'm not very bright sometimes. If that's not obvious by this point. It's that I'm catching everything already in a Pokeball, so I mean, it should be pretty clear that I don't think things through all the time. I just sort of do them because I want to. Micro Punch, Fly Weezing. I should have, like, skull bashed his face in, and then it would have one-shot him. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, bye, scientist. Bell, B, U, B, B, E, A. How is that a name? It's not a name. Whatever. Door. Clark, you open the door. Okay. Po protein. Yeah, I don't need that. Hello, scientist. Those folks took over our building. Our, then our boss said he was looking for strong Pokemon. Oh, our president managed to avoid trouble. I don't know, mate. I think he's in trouble. Yeah, this is where we were earlier to get this, the card key in case you didn't see the first part. I'll show you again. You gotta walk through here. And then don't walk up, walk to your right or down so you can get back here and it's a card key around this general area. So yeah, this, it, it confused me for the longest time. I was like, how do I find the card key? And I had to go, I was, it took me forever to realize I could like, walk through that side of the teleporter. So yeah. I uh, nothing in here. Okay. Teleporter to what floor? Third floor. I think I probably already got an item if there was an item in there. So yeah. That's probably about a good point to cut off here because this building takes forever to go through. So we got through our first five floors, got still, um, got everything we could on those floors, alright, so we'll see you guys next time. We should continue on up this building, up this staircase right to my right. So I'll see you guys next time, bye.